So we got the uh, Mossberg 535 with the uh, real tree hardwoods camo on it. Uh, so the 535 says the Magnum it will accept two and three quarter, three inch, and three and a half inch Magnums. Uh, but this is the turkey setup, the turkey package. It's got the extra full turkey choke on the end there uh, with the fiber optic sights, as you can see there. Uh, Mossberg, so you got your standard safety there. Uh, five plus one capacity with two and three quarter inch shells. I'm going to start out with hitting these out there at uh, 25 yards to see how it patterns. I got a little bit of everything over here. Uh, I don't have any turkey loads on me right now. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have brought some. I wasn't really thinking, but we got just your basic stuff here. Seven and a half uh, low brass. <laughs> High brass six shot, high brass five. I don't know where my four went. There it is. Low brass four. And then I got uh, four buck, one buck, and double op buck. So we'll, uh, I might splice this video. I'm not sure yet. We might uh, take it out another day and do some turkey loads that I have. Uh, you know, that's probably actually what I'll do. So uh, that'll be included in this video too. But we'll go ahead and uh, shoot this right now and see what it does with this more standardized stuff and then uh, I'll throw some turkey loads in here. Also, uh, it's January 2021 so it's like really hard to find any ammo right now. I do have a couple three and a half inch magnums that are uh, four shot I believe. We'll put one or two through it in this video as well. I don't know if you guys can tell but uh, that is a .670 XX full choke. It's kind of hard for me to focus on it, but that's what it says. It says 0 .670 XX full. So it is the extra extra full choke 0 .670 diameter, uh, which I believe that is what it comes with being a turkey gun. Seven and a half. Oh, uh, by the way, it's 25 yards, laser confirmed. There's your target. It seems to be uh, printing a little high. I'm just holding the bead right here. We'll show all these in succession at the end, but just want to let you know that uh, I'm going to keep holding there. If it keeps printing high, then it keeps printing high. So. Number four. Four buck. One buck. It's 
So what's starting to occur is that these pellets are too large for this uh, extra full choke. And uh, you can probably see here just how large those are. I believe double odd is 33, 34 caliber, something like that. Um, so as they come out the end, it's compressing them too much and it's actually squishing these. Uh, I'm still going to try double odd anyways. You don't really shoot double odd through this. There's no reason to. It's going to make worse patterns. It'll be okay. It's not going to harm the gun or anything. So just for the sake of doing it, I'm going to see what it does down there. So I'm going to shoot Fiocchi first and then Remington on the same target because it doesn't really matter because, you know, this is just for the heck of it basically because you're not going to get very good patterns with double lot out of an extra full choke. But I just want to see if it'll even hit the target. Looks like four or five down there. So now I'll try the Remington. Take a couple more high, centered. So we'll bring them up and check them all out now. All right, so here's what we got so far. This is seven and a half. Uh, it definitely went high. That might have been me. And then we got six. Nice even overall pattern. Uh, five shot. Uh, for some reason it favored right on that it looks like. And then it did the same with four shot. And then uh, four buck. One buck. Started just flinging them everywhere. And then there's your double up buck. And I seen when I hit this that uh, the Fiocchi just kind of spread out. And then it looked like there's some Remingtons right here. So other than the fact that it went high, uh, it looked like it actually grouped those Remingtons all right. So it seemed to do really well with this six shot. So I'm going to go put another one up out at 40 yards. And again, we'll laser it. I'm going to set it up at 40 yards and see what it does. Now, obviously these aren't turkey loads. This is just your, your generic stuff. So we're going to put turkey loads through it next, but um, just out of curiosity, I want to see what that regular uh, number six, if I can find it here, what it'll do at, you know, it's just your standard two and three quarter inch high brass, six shot. I want to see what it'll do at 40 yards since it's seen the pattern the best. So that's 40 yards, range finder confirmed. On the six. I'm not sure, but it sounded like I hit metal or plastic, which I kind of expected from that distance. But you know. Again, those are just generic rounds, and well, if that was Mr. Turkey's face, I guess, well, normally you aim at his neck. I definitely would have, you would have got him. Obviously, six shots probably a little too small, but this was just out of curiosity. Let's see if I, doesn't look like it. I don't know what I heard then. Maybe it was stuff back there. Alright, so it's a few days later. We're down here at the uh, rifle range. So now I'm going to test out these turkey loads. So I got 3 inch 6 shot, 3 inch 4 shot, and then we got some 3.5 inch magnums here. They're both 2 ounces of 4 shot at 1300 feet per second. And uh, currently we're at 25 yards, and then I'll take it out further as well, but we'll see what it does at 25 first with each one of these. Yeah, so I'll do 
do the six shot first. We got snowballs. All right, we're trying to hit it and zoom in on it for it, but obviously that fell, but we'll show it at the end uh, like we did with the others. Number four. All right, well, I think I'm going to do the rest standing because uh, I don't know how well you can see that. I'm assuming it was a trigger guard. These rounds, they kick quite a bit. Um, I'm assuming it's a trigger guard and busted me in the finger. It doesn't feel too great, so I'm going to stand for the rest. So we got these two left. They're both Remington. They're both three and a half inch Magnums. They're both a two ounce payload at 1,300 feet a second. The only difference is... This is hardened lead, and this is copper plated. So I'll shoot this first, and then I'll shoot the copper plated next. I'm gonna put this glove on for a little padding, just in case I hit my finger again. Hit my finger again. <laughs> now the copper plated. Alright, so this was that Winchester 3 inch 6 shot turkey load. And then the Winchester 3 inch 4 shot. And then that was uh, the hardened lead one here. Nitro turkey. Number 4 shot. And then the other one was the Premier high velocity copper plated number four, which doesn't look like that one did better. I'll lay the other one over again, number four. And about the same. Laying back down again, opposite order. Just keep putting it down. So, honestly, number six is a little small for turkey. I know most people use five, five or four shots. So. Um, well, we got the target out here at 40 yards now, so I'm going to hit it with one of those three and a half inch. Um, see what it does. All right, I'm going to use these ones since I have a few more of those than those. Um, since uh, this entire time I've been seemingly pulling, well, I don't know that I've been pulling. I don't know if it's me pulling it or if that's just the way the pattern is tending to go in correlation with the sights, but... Um, these are all sticking together and it's sleeting again so since we go high right a lot I'm just going to adjust a little bit aim a little low left so that we can hopefully get a nice center hit on it since it's 40 yards now alright so there goes the last one 40 yards
there is your uh, 40 yard so I definitely seem to get a decent center hit that time by adjusting my aim down here just a little bit but uh that's probably gonna be maximum effective range right there honestly I expected better but real good here if the turkey's face was there I mean but if his face was there you only just nicked him with two it looks like I suppose you still got the neck shots and whatnot but 40 yards is probably about as far as you want to go with that obviously uh there's aftermarket chokes you can get that may perform better and I know a lot of people do that but as far as what it comes with that's what she does 40 yards there all right so that's gonna wrap it up guys obviously you can change out chokes in these uh, you can swap the barrel as well put a deer barrel on there if you want or whatever so it doesn't have to be just a turkey gun um, but what I think that's it for the day I might pull this out again later I'm not sure um, but hey if you like the video make sure you hit the like button thanks for watching uh, if you want to be notified when I post, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. I'll catch you on the next one.